Hey friends, welcome to One Flight Down Basement Beer Tastings. Today we're checking out another beer from the Willibald Brewing Company uh, in Air, Ontario. This one is called Youngin. Youngin Deepa, with a big creepy bird on it. Uh, Youngin Deepa from Willy Bald, of course. Willy Bald, uh, I gotta throw this video out to my buddy Drew. At Beer for Breakfast, Facts for Snacks, Drew sent me this beer a little while ago. You might know him as Brew. I know him as Brew. Uh, mostly because I just kind of drunkenly stumbled on my words one time and called him that. And he's forever since been Brew. Uh, so you might know Brew, Drew. Uh, he sent me a bunch of Willy Bald beers uh, a while back, and I, I think I might still have like one or two more to go through in the fridge. Uh, really enjoying these Willy Bald beers. Uh, if I rated my beers, they'd, they'd be like rated very high. Solid points all around. But I don't rate my beers. I just tell you if I enjoy them or not. Uh, so I'm hoping I'm going to enjoy this. It's a double IPA, a Deepa. Uh, it is 8.2% alcohol. Uh, farm, brewed, and packaged. Uh, Wooly Bald Farm, Air Ontario. It doesn't really tell me a whole lot more than that. Uh, packaged? When's this package on? Packaged on June 27th. So, not even three months old. So, still a pretty fresh beer. All right, let's crack this one open. Whew, gun smoke coming out of that can. I don't know if you saw it, but it was pretty dramatic from my end. This is pouring out nice and hazy, as a good deepa should, I guess. All right, this looks really good. Um, very, very hazy. Look at that. That is just a thick, cloudy-looking beer. That is gorgeous. Um, decent white head on there. The color is like a like a very like a deep yellow. Um, all right, I'm, I, I'm anticipating juicy notes. Uh, something this cloudy and yellow looking usually comes with some nice juicy notes. Let's see what we get on the nose. Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, there we go. Uh, stone fruit. Not necessarily like citrus or anything. Maybe a little peach, that kind of thing. Let's go in for a sip. Cheers, friends. Okay, this is a nice, nice beer. Uh, it does, first of all, does not taste like it's 8.2% alcohol. Uh, it goes down really easy. Um, very fruity up front. Uh, nice, sort of like a, there's a nice carbonation to it, but it's also kind of got a silkiness to the, to the mouthfeel as well. Like a medium body. Um, yeah, that's that's pretty nice. Yeah, that is a solid beer all around. If I gave points, man, the points would be super high. But uh, I, I, I don't, I don't rate my beers. Um, but that is really, really good. It's got a very mellow aftertaste. Um, sometimes you get into like your IPAs, and there's like a and not that I'm complaining, but there's more of a lingering uh, kind of an aftertaste. This one doesn't really linger that long and what's there is just kind of like a a juiciness um yeah it's quite it's quite a bright juicy beer yeah i don't know if this is like a regular rotation thing uh for willy bald or not um but it's pretty darn good i've had a few from willy bald uh and so far yeah the ones i've tried they've been quite good um this one uh, it reminds me of a lot of uh, beers from Kilter, which I often send stuff uh, from here to uh, Drew, and he sends me these uh, Willy Balds, and there's there's, there's a real similarity between them. Like they, I think both breweries tend to like those kind of juicy, um, higher alcohol, uh, but doesn't taste like higher alcohol, kind of like a, a, a IPA. Really, really nice beer all around. Uh, thanks again, Drew, for sending me this one. 
Uh, yeah, uh, it's fantastic beer. Uh, thanks to the rest of you for dropping by the Terry Isle Basement Pub. We'll see you all again real soon. Cheers, friends. Again, I'm tired and I need to go home.